We are in beautiful Los Angeles, California at the Beverly Hilton and I am so excited to get another fibroblast procedure from Miss Isabel Franco in Beverly Hills. Now I haven't seen her in about two months. The last time I saw her was for my under eyes and for my nasal labial folds. Now today I'm going to be going back and getting my nasal labial folds redone. I guess you could call this a second treatment. I was so happy for the tightening effect that it had the first time, but I still felt like I needed more. The skin right here is a lot thicker than the skin under my eyes, so I think that more than two treatments is probably really good for thicker skin. Fibroblast is a treatment that burns holes into your skin, and when these scabs heal, the skin around the scabs tightens up as in to pull in the wound edges together, and this causes a tightening effect. When the burn is made, water seeps out of the skin and it produces an immediate tightening effect, but this tightening effect is not the end result. This is just water being squeezed out of the skin. Fibroblast treatment is a relatively new procedure here in the U.S. It's a little bit tough to find practitioners. Now, it's getting better. There's more and more estheticians learning how to do fibroblasts, so just hold tight if you're interested in this procedure and there's nobody in your area at the moment who does it. So today, in addition to my nasal labial folds, I'll also be doing my jawline because I've been noticing a little bit of laxity, laxity laxity in my skin right here and right along the jaw here. I love the effect fibroblast has had on my skin. I've come back from LA and I've had friends say, hmm, I think I want to go along with you next time. So are you guys ready to go? Let's go. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can't get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much How can I tell you what I wanna do? I never needed you to give me thanks I never needed gifts or diamond rings All I ever need, I need, I Thank you. Yeah. So right now I'm going to bake with this numbing cream prior to the procedure. I usually bake for about an hour. What this does is let the skin really drink in all of the numbing cream so that way I get a more profound numbing when the procedure starts. And I'm so excited you guys.
But you don't see that I just want you. You get the things, but I don't care. Oh. There is a place where we can go, where it's always shining like the snow. Listen to your heartbeat, don't you know that I. Is this a substitute for facelifts? No, but if you only have skin elasticity, I don't know if I'm saying that word right, then this may take care of a lot of your skin looseness issues. Why is it not a substitute for facelifts? It's not a substitute because during a facelift, the surgeon will tighten both the skin and the muscle layer underneath. I have loved so far what Fibroblast has done for me. I think you all know from watching my other videos. If you haven't seen those videos, please click on the link in the description box for my Fibroblast treatment series and you will understand everything I've been through and how much I love Fibroblast. Hey guys, so it's now 12 o'clock at night, approximately seven hours since I've had the fibroblast done on my cheeks and jawline. So I just wanted to update you guys on how I'm doing. I'm about to go to sleep right now. Um, I know I look really bad, but I think it looks worse than it actually is. I have just been spraying with the aftercare spray and then tomorrow I'm gonna be applying the aftercare cream. And both of these things are very important. It's important to keep the area moist and to stay off the area when you're sleeping. So tonight I'm gonna to have to try to sleep um, on my back. The procedure went really well. I did feel a little bit dizzy when I got up, but I think that's because I was on my back for so long and also because I didn't eat enough before we started the procedure. The procedure lasted four hours so i'll check back in with you guys in the morning so tomorrow will be officially day one of my recovery okay good night hey guys this is day one of my healing i had fibroblast treatment yesterday and today it is looking pretty red and pretty swollen I was surprised this morning when I woke up and I saw how swollen I was. I definitely think that doing nasolabial folds in the jawline is just a little bit more traumatic to the skin, but also I think I'm healing okay. I did take a lot of Motrin and Tylenol in the days leading up to the procedure because I was getting lots of headaches.
Um, as far as pain level, I'm not in any pain. I am a little bit tired. I was trying to sleep on my back all last night. I don't think I was that successful in it. I will check in again tomorrow. Getting. Hey guys, so it is now day two of my healing from getting fibroblast on Saturday. Today is Monday. I woke up and thought, wow, this area looks pretty swollen. Um, in addition to swelling, I'm noticing that it is still red, but definitely not as red as it was in past healing scenarios. Like when I got my eyes done, it was very red. One of the reasons and the main reason is because I did infrared therapy. I used my husband's infrared therapy light. I'm going to include a clip from that here. And I think that made a huge difference. I used it um, yesterday. And then the first time I had it done was in Isabel Franco's office on a Saturday. After the treatment, she put me under an infrared light. So I think that made a huge difference in swelling and especially redness. So let me give you guys a close up. I am not applying any makeup or any sunscreen. The only thing I am wearing is the number two cream that helps with healing. Um, oh, by the way, I am not having any pain. I'm just having swelling and redness. So I will see you guys with a recovery update tomorrow. First thing I noticed when I woke up this morning was that I looked more red but I also noticed that the scabs are starting to fall off. So that is definitely a good thing. I'm actually expecting that I will only have these scabs for another day or two. So I'm expecting most of them to be off by Friday, which is great because it is my birthday. So I do wanna go out, I do wanna wear makeup. Anyways, um, I have no pain. The only real irritating thing is that I'm very itchy, so itchy, but I've been using my red light therapy wand when I get really itchy and that seems to calm it down. So I'm all good there. Okay guys, I will check in tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is healing day four today. And as I predicted, I woke up and a lot of the scabs were already peeling off. I definitely felt it when I was washing my skin and I don't have as much swelling as today and not as much redness. So I definitely think these scabs will be off by Friday. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. As far as going out in public, I've had no problems going out in public. Nobody's even mentioned anything. Yeah, I'm really happy um, so far with what I'm seeing. Of course, the final results will be in eight to 10 weeks. Going to be better, in fact, so totally excited. Okay, I will see you guys at tomorrow's check-in. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lori. So it is day five. I'm doing good. I'm not that swollen anymore, though I still have some swelling, and I'm not that red, but um, I'm ready for these scabs to fall off. I thought they were falling off yesterday, and I thought that by Friday they'll be off, but I don't think so, and I'm kind of over it. This guy thought that I was a guy the other day, which is like, I get it, you know, it looks like I have a five o'clock shadow, but it's so embarrassing. So let me give you a close up. I'm wearing a sunscreen even though you're not supposed to. Um, hopefully it's okay. Anyways, you guys, so I will see you at tomorrow's check-in. Hey guys, so it is day six and the scabs haven't fallen off like I thought they would. Let me give you a close view. It's really not inflamed at all and a lot of the swelling has gone down now. So I wanted to just go over what I do as far as aftercare. I'm using this spray. It's the number one spray and it's by Privé. Privé is a company that works um, with estheticians who do fibroblast and you usually get this from an esthetician. So all I do is spray the area I take this number two aftercare cream by Privé and then I just put it on.
And as I'm putting it on, I'm noticing that some of the scabs are coming off on my hand. So I'm hopeful that by tomorrow we will see most of the scabs off. That's all guys, so I will see you tomorrow. Hi guys, so what a difference a day makes. And I wanted to show you my fibroblast. I started noticing it flaking off last night when I was putting on makeup um, and then also when I was washing my face and I think most of the swelling is down I'm really happy so far with the results even though these are not the final results like I've said before in eight to ten weeks we will see the final results but so far I'm super happy no pain and really no issues I've continued with spraying the area and also putting on some aftercare ointment by Privé. Um, other than that, everything is fine. And it is my final update video for you guys. Um, I am almost completely healed. I still feel a little bit of roughness on the sides where the fibroblast was done, um, but otherwise the fibroblasting has really healed very well. I don't have any soreness. I don't have any pain. And so far, I'm really happy with the results. Now, the final results are not visible yet. That will be in about two months, and I will update again then. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and share this with people you think would like it. And I will see you in my next video. On the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's why I never